for cats. You want to say something? Cats. You want to say So everyone, this is Andrew from handicappedpetscanada.com. Who's gonna trundle us a teeny tiny little wheelchair? Pretty teeny tiny. Yeah, he, he's. Uh, you oh, should, sorry. He, I know. Well, it's okay. Cassidy. It's uh, it's after Hopalong Cassidy. Okay. Yeah. Apologies. I know he's. It's okay. He's not offended. Okay, so it's big enough. That is the walking wheels. Ah, okay. He'll fit in there. Yeah. And then uh, I'm just gonna take some preliminary measurements at the moment. Alright, that is a picture of oh. the kind of PVC one we did for a rabbit. That's pretty cool. And that's a kind of pre-assembled before we completely finished version. Even utilizing the walking wheels front harness, uh, front best oh, okay. for the harness for this wheelchair. But we can kind of retrofit this quite easily uh, to fit the PVC one as well as um, using the leg rings in the back. Okay, so the oh, so, so his legs go through those little things. Those gotcha. little leg rings in the back there. Gotcha. And he's pretty teeny, teeny, he's tiny. Teeny. He's but he was what 0.69, six 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 ninety at the vet today. He, okay. he was only five hundred when he. Came in, so he's um, gotten a lot bigger. He's a big boy. Um, what I'm doing, I don't know if you saw the video. This is what I'm using now. Not, I'm not putting his arms through this, but just the whole thing supports his belly. So yep. it's behind his front arms, and then because otherwise it, it holds him up like this instead of like. You know, like yeah, because you don't want to be bending him in half. You want to be yeah. full supporting as much as you can underneath the whole. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. What do you mean, belly? belly area? You had so much fun. <laughs> He's had a big day. Um, we may need a yeah, a smaller harness to start with as well. Do you want to see how? I don't know if it would help. This, like this one fits him pretty well the way it's. I don't. If you need like measurements from this, it's like let's see, that's our smallest. That's bigger for that one. Okay, let's take some measurements. Oh, thank you. Get me some wheels. Down if I'm deaf. One of his backs is just slightly longer than the other. Like about four inches right now. Yeah, he's kind of yeah. if he was natural height. Hmm. Mm. Do you have a pen, pen? I can get you. Oh, yeah. Lots of syringes, not very good. Don't let him scoot around.
this. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, in that case, I won't do anything. I'll do it anyway. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's not paralyzed back there, so, so he's, like he does actually move his legs, and we do want to encourage him to keep moving his legs. But I think just to help him get around, and, like in supervised. And then when he's fully grown, you're going to prosthetics. That's we're looking into prosthetics or possibly implants or, or, or something. Dr. C. A. Yeah. Dr. Susan Calvary. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like they probably got them from me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Just want to sleep a little. What do you have me there? Just take photos of that. That's okay. Do it, yeah. He's <laughs> learning how to work his angles anyway, so. <laughs> there are 1,415 people watching you right now. Oh, hello, everybody. <laughs> Someone's asking if you're from New Zealand or Australia. Australia. <laughs> we grew up in Toronto, Australia. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that's about all I need for right now. That gives me a good reference of where we're at. Okay. And uh, how soon we are thinking of. I mean, as soon as, as soon as he's re he's ready, like he gets mad when he wakes up from his nap and he's like in, because I'm having to keep him over there. I'm, okay. I get to expand him a little bit now, but we're trying to keep him from dragging his stumps around while they heal. Um, so I have, I've had to take him on walks like, I don't know, four or five times a day and he gets, he's like zips around and gets really excited. So I think he would benefit from that okay. as soon as you can do it, but I don't I will, yeah. Do you think I he's think... big enough or? Um, it'll be like the first time you've ever done like a micro. It's obviously, it's, yeah, time. it's really micro. <laughs> <laughs> I micro wheel. I, I will, um, yeah. Like I think the soonest I could kind of put something together would be like about a week. Okay, that would um, be amazing. But because i got to source some stuff and I'll play around with it a little bit yeah. to, uh, to make it as small and lightweight as we can. And the harnesses, I think at this point, um, these are probably a little bit too big, mm -hmm. but uh, we'll come up with some smaller types of harnesses to fit into it to make it work. So okay, yep, cool. I'm so excited. Good. He's excited too. He's just a little bit sleepy right now. <laughs> it's been a big afternoon. I know. We had I had to wear him out to go to the vet just so that he would behave a little bit. And he was very excited about being at the vet. <laughs> Well, okay, cool. I'm just, I'll put okay. him in his little spot back here. And then, oh, look. Change your pad and everything. Get you some new food. It's not wet. Oh, no. So, hi, little man. I'll come see you. I'll come back and see you. Yes, good boy. So do you guys you guys do these for people all over Canada? Yes. We, Canada? we we normally um just deal with the Walk and Wheels brand, which is okay. out of uh, the US for handicappets.com. Okay. We are Handicap Pets Canada. We just created for them up here in Canada. Oh, gotcha. Canada wide. And, um, and let's see, uh, that's normally we just do the, the wheelchairs from them, but mm -hmm. we have made a couple for rabbits in the past for smaller animals. Um, so we'll give it a go for this little guy as awesome. well. Awesome. Yeah. I appreciate it so much that you're willing to at least give it a try. and. It will not a problem. greatly cool. help him. That's what we like to try and do. Yeah, it's going to be cool. I'm sure he will love it. He's, he's like the, the mind of a nine week old kitten. <laughs> Trapped in a body that's not quite up to speed. 
How long ago was he rescued? About a week. Okay, so he's um, pretty good really. Oh yeah, his recovery so far has been really spectacular. He was like really bad shape, but much better now. Not out of the woods yet though, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep it realistic. So you guys must sell a lot of a lot of these? Are there yes. a lot of handicap pets out there? There are, yes. We sell a lot of these erotic we say we ship right across Canada. Yeah. Probably. Um surprisingly, in Ontario we probably ship sixty percent of stuff in Ontario. Huh. But uh, we uh, work closely with a lot of vets right across Canada as well. So. Yeah. It's neat that, that you can have an option like that. So. Are we, 